Yo, yo, I'm Karen Say Gaming, and welcome to the channel. So, Among Us. I don't know how to start this video off. Among Us is a multiplayer game created by indie studio Intersloft and released in 2018 on mobile devices and Windows. And two years later, we get a port to Mac OS and Nintendo Switch. Now, I don't have to say much about this game because, well... It's popular as hell. While the hype has died down for the game over the months, there's still people surprisingly playing this game. Alongside the amount of those shitty memes and the increased usage of the word sus, the game is still going strong even in 2021. Now, originally this was supposed to be the first game I was going to review for this channel. However, as you can tell, there were other games I wanted to review first. By the way, that Parasite Eve review is going to come like way later because I don't want to deal with that shit right now. Especially Crisis Hall. Fuck that. Okay, but y'all here for a review, and if you guys are not, then um... SURPRISE, SHOWDY! Also, Among Us doesn't really have a story, so this one's gonna be easy. So, let's talk about the gameplay. The best way to describe Among Us would be Mafia, but in space. You can have up to 10 players in a game, with up to 3 players being randomly chosen to be the imposter and the others being crewmates. The goal of the crewmates is to finish tasks that are present in the ship, such as downloading data, fixing wires, or this goddamn car wreck. Oh, come on, you son of a bitch! For the imposters, their main goal is to kill the other crewmates and prevent them from finishing their task. Now, there's going to be a point where someone finds a body and calls a meeting where you and the others will try to figure out who the imposter is. Afterwards, you and the others can vote who the imposter may be and then eject them. If they're not the imposter, then the game continues and the person ejected becomes a ghost, where they'll still be able to complete their task. Yeah, in hindsight, that's weird as hell. However, if the imposter is ejected, then the game will either end or you're going to have to find the other imposters. If the crewmates finish all their tasks or eject all the imposters, then they win. But if the imposters kill all the crewmates or sabotage the vital system, like the reactor or oxygen supply, which, in retrospect, letting it fail barely happens, then the imposters win. The game has dream maps, each with their own unique setups. The first map is Skeld, which is basic as hell. The second map is Mira HQ, which adds some new tasks relating to the reactor and greenhouse, plus it is big as shit. Finally, we have Polis, which has a much shorter map, but some of these tasks are complicated. What the hell is this? In terms of getting into a game, you can either join up with some friends, or you can just join a random surfer. Now, for any multiplayer game I review, I will always recommend to play with friends, as not only will it give you an actual challenge, but it will make it more enjoyable. And to be honest, it's better than joining a random lobby, as apparently attempting to join a server is like trying to get in class a second late with a professor who is strict as fuck. No shit at all about that. Plus, some servers are just weird as fuck. Yeah... So with simple gameplay, this kind of makes you wonder, what was all the hype about with this game? Being that we were stuck at home all year, this game kind of came out as a surprise. Thanks to Twitch streamers, the fact that you could play this on your phone, and the cheap as fuck $5 price tag, everybody and their mother was easily able to play this game. Hell, alongside Animal Crossing and Fall Guys, Among Us was another big hit for people who wanted the game and enjoyed time with their friends during these hard times. Another thing was that the game low-key had the same spirit as Mario Party. And if you played that game, then you already know the funny arguments and moments that will pop up from it. In short, it was a great social game to have during these times where going outside was a major risk because of this boy. And it still is. And I'm going to say something that y'all not going to like, but the success of Among Us is very similar to the success of Minecraft and Fortnite. And I guarantee you that there is going to be Among Us merch if you go to your nearest Walmart or Target. Or you're going to find a shit ton of it online and even at those little vendors at the mall where they make custom hoodies and shit. I'll never forgive y'all for making that shit. Okay, so what's my overall verdict for this game? Simple and easy, you should play this game. It's only $5, and it's coming out on other platforms. Plus, it is a great party game for you and your friends. And if your friend doesn't have a laptop but has their phone, even easier. Okay. That basically wraps everything up. So, in the desire to reach the 10-minute mark, because this video is already short as hell as it is, I'm just going to add some gameplay in the end, so make sure to stick through with that to, you know, watch it, because it's actually pretty funny.
Anywho, thank you guys for watching the video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you leave a like and, you know, subscribe. That will greatly boost my channel to other people and so on and so forth. But until then, stay safe and stay vibing, my guys.